Radio 3, it's now four o'clock and time for today's broadcast of Choral Evensong, which comes live from Beverly Minster, and it's sung by members of the Royal School of Church Music's Northern Cathedral Course. The canticles are sung to the setting in G by Sumption, who has his centenary this year, and the anthem, with music by Philip Moore, takes verses from Psalm 119 and Ecclesiasticus, All wisdom cometh from the Lord. The service opens now on this historic day of the total eclipse with the introit by Maurice Green, The sun shall be no more thy light. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you, that God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. O Lord, open thou our lips. And our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. set for the 11th evening, Psalms 59 and 61.
Here beginneth the first verse of the tenth chapter of the book of Job. The words of Job. I loathe my life. I will give free utterance to my complaint. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. I will say to God, do not condemn me. Let me know why you contend against me. Does it seem good to you to oppress, to despise the work of your hands, and favor the schemes of the wicked? Do you have eyes of flesh? Do you see as humans see? Are your days like the days of mortals, or your years like human years, that you seek out my iniquity and search for my sin, although you know that I am not guilty? and there is no one to deliver out of your hand. Your hands fashioned and made me, and now you turn and destroy me. Remember that you fashioned me like clay, and will you turn me to dust again? Did you not pour me out like milk, and curdle me like cheese? You clothed me with skin and flesh, and knit me together with bones and sinews. You have granted me life and steadfast love, and your care has preserved my spirit. Yet these things you hid in your heart. I know that this was your purpose. If I sin, you watch me, and do not acquit me of my iniquity. If I am wicked, Woe to me! If I am righteous, I cannot lift up my head, for I am filled with disgrace, and look upon my affliction. Bold as a lion you hunt me. You repeat your exploits against me. You renew your witnesses against me, and increase your vexation toward me. You bring fresh troops against me. Why did you bring me forth from the womb? Would that I had died before any eye had seen me, and were as though I had not been, carried from the womb to the grave. Are not the days of my life few? Let me alone that I may find a little comfort before I go, never to return to the land of gloom and deep darkness the land of gloom and chaos, where light is like darkness. Here endeth the first lesson. The office hymn, Thou Art the Way.
Here beginneth the 29th verse of the first chapter of the Gospel according to St. Mark. As soon as they left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door, and he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go on to the neighbouring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. A leper came to him, begging him, and kneeling, he said to him, If you choose, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, and said to him, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. After sternly warning him, he sent him away at once, saying to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded, as a testimony to them. But he went out and began to proclaim it freely, and to spread the word, so that Jesus could no longer go into a town openly, but stayed out in the country, and people came to him from every quarter. Here endeth the second lesson.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you.
that we may at the last rejoice with her in thy eternal glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all paradise are, all good counsels and all just works to proceed, Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The anthem this evening is all wisdom cometh from the Lord by Philip Moore, with words from the book of Ecclesiasticus and Psalm 119.
Let us pray. The prayer of Saint Augustine. Look upon us, O Lord, and let all the darkness of our souls vanish before the beams of thy brightness. Fill us with holy love, and open to us the treasures of thy wisdom. All our desire is known unto thee. Therefore perfect what thou hast begun, and what thy spirit has awakened us to ask in prayer. We seek thy face. Turn thy face unto us and show us thy glory. Then shall our longing be satisfied and our peace shall be perfect through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We give thanks today for the lives of Claire of Assisi and John Henry Newman, particularly for their ministries of prayer, teaching and service. We pray in the Anglican cycle of prayer for the Diocese of Guatemala and their Bishop Armando Soraya, for David our Bishop and Richard Bishop of Hull. Give to your Church, O God, a bold vision and a daring charity, a refreshed wisdom and a courteous understanding, that the eternal message of your Son may be acclaimed as the good news of the age, through him who makes all things new, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We lift to God in prayer those who today live beneath the dark shadows of fear, violence, poverty and hunger. Send forth, O Lord, your light and your truth, and scatter the darkness which blinds human eyes to the divine image which each of your children bears. Forgive the inhumanity of those who treat human life cheaply, the blind hatred of tribalism, the raging violence of war, the needless suffering of poverty, hunger, and debt. Forgive our lack of zeal, our acceptance of what need not be. Bless the work of those who labour for the coming of your kingdom, of light, of justice, of peace, of plenty. O God of righteousness, O Lord of compassion, O Lord Jesus Christ, our light and our salvation. Amen. We remember before God those in need of rest or recreation, those whose work is demanding or unrewarding, those whose leisure is unsatisfying or enforced through ill health or unemployment. And we pray for all God's people, that they may know his peace, using these words often attributed to Cardinal Newman. O Lord, support us all the day long of this troublous life, until the shades lengthen and the evening comes, and the busy world is hushed, the fever of life is over, and our work done. Then, Lord, in your mercy, Grant us safe lodging, a holy rest, and peace at the last, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can quench, giving thanks for the constancy of God's love. We pray that our lives may shine with the radiance of his light. Kindle, O Lord, in our hearts, we pray, the flame of that love which never ceases, 
that it may burn in us and give light to others. May we shine forever in your temple, set on fire with that eternal light of yours, which puts to flight the darkness of this world. In the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. And we say together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. The hymn, The Spacious Firmament on High.
Paean by Herbert Howells. And it brings to a close today's broadcast of Choral Evensong, which came from Beverly Minster. It was sung by members of the Royal School of Church Music, Northern Cathedral Course. The choir was directed by Gordon Appleton, and the organist was Jonathan Lilly. Next Wednesday at four o'clock, Choral Evensong comes live from St Mary's Cathedral in Edinburgh. <laughs>